One love, one heart. Let's embrace diversity and feel all right. All right, everyone, it's Pride Month. And for Pride Month, I want to celebrate someone who's not being celebrated by the mainstream media or anybody in, in, in this world right now who's a major figure in the LGBTQ movement of Jamaica and the entire world. And that's Bob Marley. That's right. And why do you see liberals like me, people in the left wing movements wearing, you know, Bob Marley T-shirts? We embrace reggae music and the, and the Rasta culture. It's so wonderful. I know because I went to a Sandals Beach resort and I thought Jamaica was beautiful and the people were wonderful. It was such a beautiful place and everyone was friendly. And so I really feel close and rooted in uh, Jamaican culture. And Bob Marley is one of the main figureheads of the Rastafarian movement in reggae music, which promotes diversity, love, and the LGBTQ community. Uh, a little known fact, Bob Marley was LGBTQ. Um, apparently he, uh, engaged in a lot of LGBTQ activities with, uh, um, his bandmates, Peter Tosh and him. They were very much into a lot of kink and they had a lot of, you know, uh, LGBTQ love together along with Bunny Whaler and a lot of other major Jamaican figures because it's, it, Rastafarianism is like a break from traditional Christianity and it promotes Diversity and LGBTQ love. And that's why I love Jamaica. Cause like I was in the Sandals Beach Resort and I didn't have any problems. There was no homophobia in Jamaica and Jamaican culture is great. It got away from England and white Christian culture. And now it's a place of only people of color. There's no more white people there to oppress them. Um, and they all live in peace and love. And, and now it's like a wonderful loving place with LGBTQ diversity. I mean, I, urge all LGBTQ people like myself, go to Jamaica, have a good time. You'll never have a problem there. And Bob Marley, uh, he sang songs to promote LGBTQ love. Uh, he had a song, I'm a rainbow too. It's about LGBTQ love. To the rescue, here I am. About rescuing all the LGBTQ of the world. And he had a song called Jammin. Wet jammin, I want to jam it with you. And that's a song about basically having LGBTQ sex. Uh, you know, it's kind of jamming is a Jamaican term for having, you know, some non-traditional LGBTQ sex, we'll say. Just, you know, it's a family show, so we'll keep it a little tamed. But I want to promote Bob Marley and all the wonderful Jamaican people who love LGBTQ love. This is for you. Bob Marley, thank you for embracing your sexuality. And thank you for the Rastafarian religion that doesn't promote um, homophobia and, and promotes diversity and love and acceptance. And thank you to Jamaica and all Jamaican people for promoting all this. That's why we in the left only focus on white heteronormative cis culture in places like America, KKK, and how, why we, you know, look at Europe, North America. We don't, we do not criticize wonderful people like the Jamaicans or Bob Marley because he promoted LGBTQ love. And basically, uh, there's a great sex video out right now. Um, I, you know, turn it off. The kids are around, you know, but, or keep them, keep them watching if you want. But there's a great video with Bob Marley and, and Peter Tosh and Bunny Whaler basically having a three way. And I, and if you want to see it, send me a message. I'll send it to you. Uh, it's beautiful. It embraces LGBTQ love in Jamaica. So we're jamming. I want to jam it with you, all of you.